Gargoyles Quest Ghosts and Goblins is a platform, side-scrolling adventure game for the Nintendo Game Boy, with mild role-playing video game elements from Capcom. It was released on May 2, 1990 in Japan and then in the United States and Canada in July. The main character Red of Rema made his debut in the video game series Ghosts and Goblins. Gargoyles Quest was followed by two sequels. A NES game Gargoyles Quest II in 1992 and Demon's Crest for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System in 1994. Storyline Firebrand is a gargoyle who is predestined to be the Red Blade who saves the Ghoul Realm from the evil wrath of King Brieger and brings peace to the land once again. Characters Firebrand, a gargoyle predestined to become the Red Blaze and take down King Brieger. Red Blaze, savior of the Ghoul Realm who was a mutant gargoyle. He defeated the King of Destruction years before and locked him underground. Rochefell believes he is actually the Red Blaze until Firebrand defeats him and rightfully earns the title. Allies King Dark Owen, a king of the Ghoul Realm. Usurped by King Brieger and thought to be killed by the Destroyers, he is actually imprisoned in his own tower, unable to move from his throne. The Rhone Jark, Baron of the First City You Come To, looks like Satan from Ghosts and Goblins, asks you to obtain his gremlin stick which was given to him by King Dark Owen, using the fingernail of the spectre, can predict the future when in possession of the gremlin stick. Majorita lives in the Cave of Darkness and tells Firebrand the legend of the Red Blaze. The Rhone Bimon has the Candle of Darkness, which is needed to find Majorita in the Cave of Darkness. Enemies King Brieger, known as the King of Destruction, wants to destroy the Ghoul Realm, has failed to do so on a previous occasion when he was stopped by the Red Blaze. The Destroyers, the army controlled by King Brieger, Zundo Drua, fought in the Burning Town, guards the portal to the Ghoul Realm, looks like a giant blowfish and spews forth living flames that float downward. Four Eyes, this collective creature is the boss at the top of the tower and is guarding the gremlin stick. The Four Eyes are placed on the walls, two on one side of the room, two on the opposite. They shoot sparks from their irises. Belsmos, the demon that is holding King Dark Owen prisoner in Dark Owen's palace, a skeletal demon that flies and can break his body down into bee-like creatures before reconstructing somewhere else. Zaku Druza, appears in the desert of destitution, resembles a giant skeletal snail with two smaller demon heads below his main head. These shoot projectiles at Firebrand, is holding the Candle of Darkness. Rushafell believes himself to be the Red Blaze and holds the Eternal Candle. Once he is defeated, he gladly hands over the candle to the true Red Blaze. His name appears to be a deliberate mistransliteration of Lucifer and is the same character as Lucifer from Ghouls and Ghosts. Gameplay The game consists of two types of areas. An overhead view where Firebrand traverses the Ghoul Realm, either on the world map or in towns, and individual, side-scrolling, battle levels which feature a boss at the end. In between actual levels, as Firebrand traverses the overhead map of the Ghoul Realm, he is susceptible to random encounters like a typical console RPG. He must defeat the enemies in order to return to the overhead view map. There are also ghouls that can be encountered that spark a small battle level which the player must defeat in order to get past him. Firebrand can walk, jump, cling to walls, fly for a period of time determined by the items the player has obtained, and fire projectiles. The player starts with one type of projectile. It does not travel very far, and has limited power. Eventually, the player will gain new projectiles, discuss below. Firebrand has a small number of hit points, starting at 2 and increasing throughout the game based on items or blessings obtained. Various enemies and objects drain different amounts of hit points. As the user progresses, various items are gained which have differing effects. Some items are passive, they increase Firebrand's abilities outright. For example, the fingernail of the Spectre increases his jumping ability for the remainder of the game. 
and there are several items that increase the length of time which Firebrand can fly, the final of which allows for him to fly infinitely. There are also items which can be used as needed, such as items to restore health. Additionally, several types of projectiles are obtained throughout the game. All can be offensive tools to defeat enemies, but each has different traits or specialized uses. The Blockbuster, for example, which is the first projectile obtained after the Firebrand's starting projectile, is twice as powerful travels further, and can break special blocks the player may need to pass. Another projectile temporarily creates objects which Firebrand can jump from to reach necessary locations. This block breaking power and other useful abilities leaves a use for such projectiles throughout the game, even when more powerful projectiles are obtained. Projectiles can be selected one at a time from the select menu, as can items such as healing vials. In the final boss battle, the player makes a choice which results in one of two scenarios for how the final battle is played. In one scenario, the player is stripped of all ability-boosting items and powers, leaving him virtually unable to win, and must then fight the final boss. In the other scenario, resulting from the other choice, the player maintains these items and powers, and attempts to defeat the final boss and win the game. Reception All game editor Brett Hallenweiss called it a ghoulishly entertaining, though undeniably challenging experience.